Hello, everybody. Welcome to the D-Pad. I'm a waddling little baby boy. And I am an observer. And this is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Uh, That's where, the one. Where we are going to switch our lead Pokemon because bad idea. What? what? Good idea. Oh, okay. Uh, here we go. Actually, if anything, ground type makes this a lot trickier. Uh, mm, mm. I don't think any of my team is like... I guess Delmar is ironically the one who would be the least impacted by the two types. But I think Pip is just strong enough that I'm not going to run into any issues. Yeah, when in doubt, starter out front. Yeah. So we are looking, I think... Well, let's... Get nope, on nope, your bike. nope. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Ding, ding. Ugh. Eh, there we go. Uh, we are looking for the kind of side entrance to... Did I go too far? What happened here? Go, no, go... Oh, no, I keep going, I think. Go down, because you want to go over, cut those oh, trees. Oh, do I want... Is this where it is? Cut those trees. Yeah. And go up and under the road. That's right, yes. Because I was like, I remembered it was disconnected from the actual cycling road. If I caught stuff in... What is this, 207? I think I have. Yeah, I got a Machop in 207 and... Just Cycling like, Road was 206. Or 206, which I also caught something. I caught Ponyta. I got Hugo here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. This is the road that kept uh, hitting John with horses yes. over and over and over Just and over again. Forever. He got like nine Ponyta in, in less than 10 minutes or something. You have to have fought the spinner already, I right? I must have. I, he's not going to be high enough level to matter if I didn't, so... Right. Stunky. He's a wild stunky. Stunk, stunk. Stunk, stunk. You better come up with a great strategy. Your Pokemon is counting Oh, on no. You. What do I do? Let's fuck him up with Flash Cannon. Just to see it? Just to be a dick. <laughs> Ooh, how'd you like Bang. that, stunky? It, the, the, the way that that looks, it looks like it's like... You've superheated Empoleon. Yeah, it is fucking hot in here. You, you, it's like you superheated Empoleon, and he just scrapes off a hot, a hot fucking wad of slag from his arms. Or oh something. yeah, yeah. It definitely looks intense. I think uh, the funniest thing about about this room. Oh wait, is it is it this room that does it? This is Wayward Cave. I got a bronze ore. I may be mixing this up. I think Wayward Cave is the one that has Axu in it. Uh, yeah. And you need to be. get to the basement. But I thought that also, when John came in here, the issue was that you could only move one step or something. No, what am I doing? Uh, uh, you, so you need to flash to be able to see, but then you also needed, like, strength to be able to get over to the room where you actually could. What? Do I... Do I not have flash? Uh, I guess not. Is that a separate thing? Do I have an item for that? Nope, that's Grand Underground stuff. Uh. It's in huh. the basement of Orberg Gate. Interesting. Why don't we go get that? That's embarrassing. There's no way to use it via the Poketch. Oh. So how the fuck does this work then? Okay, so <laughs> you, you just actually wander around need a, 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 a TM user. <laughs> oh, God. You, you need your Bidoof. I've already caught something in Wayward Cave, though, so this isn't even... Yeah. I was mixing up... I thought that you could get into the base of Mount Coronet from from this cave from here and that was the thing but maybe that was the it's maybe that was the separate error and, separate and distinct i suppose i guess cuz i thought the whole thing was that you couldn't move around in here enough to actually get axu or maybe you had to get to the basement to do stuff but if it's wayward cave it doesn't matter i caught a bronze over there so yeah irrelevant um so let's not do that and i guess we're just going to go into mount coronet i'm even going to come up here cuz it makes sense to start from like celestic town to skip the lower levels anyway. There's not really a lot of use there. Sure. I would love for Lucky to get more levels, but it is fucking suicide to send them out against hikers and shit in the mountain. Yeah. Terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Um, if I caught anything in Celestic Town? Have you ha have you a ruling on grinding underground? 
Not really. Because that was in the comments as like, because it scales with your level. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I have not caught something in Celestic Town. I'm going to surf for like a second or two here. Oh, you know why? Probably we don't have anything that we can catch here. Right. You could probably get a Magikarp and a Goldeen. I'm just going to go ahead and, wow, I didn't spell any of that right. There we go. Curlestic Taub. Celestic Town. Pokemon. Surfing, it gets me a Psyduck or a Golduck. I have one. I think. Yeah, I got Pamnesia. Pamnesia. I'm loving my names. Uh, okay. Hey, look, it's the it's the underground thing. Yep. The little shrine. Oh, yeah, Celestic Town. Celestica. So the shrine, which is, I think, would this have come from the Celestica people? I that guess go so. go further back than the Hisuians? Yes. Hi, buddy. There's a rock climb spot for us later. Yeah, we're going to definitely be going on a rock climb world tour eventually. Yeah, rock climb world tour has some, like, good stuff. I wonder. I do not have any repels. I was like, I could be a dick and throw. A it's not even a dick. It's actually strategy. It's actually strategic to do this. Essentially, if I can get all the way through and then turn around at the top, essentially, that's my best bet for like a good catch here. If I even have any valid catches at all. It does mean I'm missing out on wild battles, but also it means I'm not risking getting stuck with a lower level thing. But by the same token, I've got a lot of the basic low level dudes at this point anyway. So most of those are probably not even a problem anymore anyway. Yeah, you might have most of the catch table excluded just in general. You know what? Yeah, I'll let the super repel run out and then I'll just run through. I would rather I would rather just actually catch something with a little bit less uh, a little bit less forced nature to it. All right, into the basement. Right. Uh, defog. Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't use strength here. <sighs> you can't be a strong boy. There we go. Ding, ding. And a bang. Bag of Stardust. Not really hurting for money in this game. All right, we got stairs to the second level, stairs to the to the bottom level. Pokeball in the middle. Those go up. Let's get that Pokeball. I think John missed this one, actually. He left it there. I uh, agree. Let's see what it is. Oh, double toxic. Yeah. <laughs> Biological attack. All right, let's let it ride. Soft sand. Ooh. Mm. Increases ground type yeah. move strength? It does. The problem is, George is my only ground type dude. And you're, yeah, not using him for ground type moves. No one else has ground type moves except him. And just to verify. I guess it's It'll be at the bottom of yeah. other items, yep. Yeah, no. Boosts the power of ground type moves. The quick claw is probably more valuable. Yeah. Even if it's less reliable, it does mean that I can pull some swerve moves there. My my issues with George Dude are not that I'm not hitting hard enough with ground. No. You know, so I almost want to try to not trigger it in the water here if I can manage. Yeah, what are the surf catches? I'm going to actually use one more repel just so I don't catch something in the water. I'll leave it for the rest of the cave, but the water, I don't want to catch something in. Um, so... Is there, like, a fucking Dratini in here? No, the only surf encounters are actually Zubat and Golbat, apparently. What? How is that even possible? I, I'm assuming you're in Mount Coronet North. Uh, I guess? Light clay. Light screen and reflect will be effective longer. Nope. Okay. Got this. Max Elixir. Nice. Very nice. Now we go up here and off to the right. Yeah. Fishing gets you Magikarps and... Ultra Ball. Some other fishes available. 
if you have a nicer enough rod. Do you have the good rod or the super rod? Uh, I don't know. I can check, though. I think I do. I think we got the best rod at this point. Uh, I have the good rod, not the super rod. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm glad the animation gets skipped after the first one. Yeah, until you're in a new room. Yeah, full restore. There we go. There's our full uh, the full restore we were looking for before. Very nice. Alrighty. So, uh, cave encounters available. Uh, Metatite. Okay. Geodude. Yep. Uh, oh, shit. All right. Graveler. Golbat. Machoke. Okay. Chingling. Those are all covered already. I believe so. Yeah, that all sounds right. Uh, Do so I have a Metatite? Don't you? Maybe you don't. I don't think I have a Metatite. Okay, so valid catches. Granted, that's going to show up in the later routes anyway, but catching one here means that I, ha I open up better catches, I think, in 216, 217. It at least excludes Metatite, which we're running into a lot yes. in Shining Pearl. It'll mean stuff like Snover becomes a little bit easier to grab. Right. Hip well, ups. So Metatite would be a, a reasonable grab here in the cave. Yeah. Um, and there is an other valid catch. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to do a little jog in here and let's see what we can get because I don't want to leave. Because now we're... All right, there we go. And that's our dude. Let me double check that we have not got that just to be 100% sure. Uh, yes, we do not have a Metatite. Yet. Yet. I mean, we don't have one at present, so. Quick ball, let's go. Not a critical catch. But a yeah, catch. Yeah, alright. My first catch in fucking seven months. Yeehaw. Alright. Mount Coronet. Finally, we have a catch here. See, much easier for for getting your episodes recorded and then getting your catches in because you're chained to the futon. You, for some reason, you yeah. let John go. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what that's all about. His his manacles keep. Uh, they just. I don't know what the deal is. They don't work. It's because he's a ghost. Oh, that explains a lot. Um. Oh man. Oh damn it. Okay. I'll explain this one for the folks who don't get it. But I was like, ooh, who's gonna be like a good like fighter? This is an actual person's name. Uh, because I was like, oh, I'll just use. She was a uh, an action movie person in like the late '80s, early '90s. Didn't get like huge, but had like a decent like B movie career. Okay. I was like, oh, I'll use her name. The problem is, her first name is Cynthia. I was yeah. like, well, we're not gonna do Cynthia, but Rothrock is just a good fucking name, which is her last name. It's like, oh fuck yeah, Cynthia Rock Rothrock. Oh okay, yeah. She is legitimately really good too. She's a black belt of seven different martial arts. God damn. I'm honestly so bummed that she didn't have a bigger career. She absolutely deserved it. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Hollywood in the oh, yeah. 90s. Oh, yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, what was the other potential catch in there? Uh, Clefairy. Oh, that's fine. I don't like Clefairy. Uh, Metronome is too unpredictable. Oh, yeah. Clefairy is essentially one of those rare Pokemon uh, Pokemon that fucking sucks to fight against, but is way not, like, the best thing to have on your team. Uh, I'm just going to... I may as well get my catch here, too. Figure we'll do the low road. Well, I, it doesn't really matter. I don't think we're even going to do this episode, but low road in one, then high road in the other. Machoke, yeah. I definitely have a Machop somewhere. Or do I? Wait a minute. Yes, I have Victor. Victor, to the victor go the spoils. Yeah, I should probably switch out, switch back to Lucky at this point. But we'll start with this, and then we'll we'll do that. This water is going to fuck you up. It's too cold. And then you will freeze. That would be great if right if it be cold environments would let. I would love if Pokemon got more creative like that with like secondary effects. So it has hail bouncing around. Is it starting to hail in the battles? Like I don't think it is. Okay. Which is ridiculous. It should, because in some games, granted, uh, I don't think, I don't think that Gen Four had persistent weather for battles yet. Gen Five does. Right. Gen Five in Black and White introduced 
you start the battle and there's just a weather effect happening already. Because uh, even in the even, weather from the overworld map. Yes, because even in, even in Gen three, when it's like, oh, uh, Kyogre and Groudon are having effect, that's because their abilities, not because it's just doing that. Uh, just verifying that I don't have a Sneasel. I do not appear to have a Sneasel. I don't have a Sneasel. Let me just write that down real quick. Sneasel. Is your right. potential catch. Now how do I... Let's see. Sneasel is dark and ice. Huh. I'm a little bit heavy here. Uh, Volt Switch would actually be my best bet with this one. Yep. Oh, actually, no. Bite. Bite would be my best. It's lower, it's not stab, and it's de and it's resisted. Sure. Uh, and it might make it flinch, so if I kill it with this, then I had no hope. Oh, no, no, hang on. Let's not be stupid here. Quick ball. Yeah. First, try and do it like Ash. I forget sometimes because they've started so many games now gate quick balls until you're like two-thirds of the way through the game. Right. So I forget that it's even an option. Like that. There we go. See, John, that's how you catch them with quick balls. I don't understand what the problem is. All you do is just to throw the one, and then it works. Yeah. Two examples. Exactly. Back to back. What? John out here fighting Pokemon. Like, what's that all about? <laughs> all right. Let's see. Sneasel. Sneasel. What's a good name for a Sneasel? Um, <laughs> I mean, you could just name him Sneezy. I could do Sneezy. I was one of the seven dwarves. I was legitimately just de just debating the Sneezler, but the Sneezler. The Sneezler. This is uh, in the honor of my ancestors. I am the Sneezler, but it's not a very name name. That's that's me. That's me jawning that rule a little bit. Yeah, that's that's more like a luchador's name. Yeah, that's it's it it, it goes by the Sneezler. But what is it? You can call me name? the Sneezler. My name Let's is see. Sven. Uh, it's a little weaselly, impish thing. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Uh, oh, I had one for a second there, and then I lost it. Shit. Um, I was debating naming it, like, Fang or Knack after the formerly weasel-named character from the Sonic franchise yep. have corrected back to being a Jerboa. Uh, um, Knack the Weasel, Mac the Knife, so and... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, now it's Fang the Hunter. <laughs> and Fang the Hunter. That's That was their deal. All right, we'll bring, back, we'll bring back Fang, but he's not allowed to have a gun thing in his name. And it's like, all right, fine. We'll make that change. He'll be Fang the Hunter now. Sneasler. Or Sneasel. Fuck, I'm so, I'm so fucking, z like, zoned in on Sneasler now. Uh, um, like, being so zoned in on Sneasler, I almost wanted him to be Knack, because it's close to Knapsack. And you ride around in Sneasler's Knapsack. Oh, that's fun. Uh, let me put that down for a second here. I'll have that. Um... Not enough space for easel, easel, caniesel. <laughs> unless I, unless I spelled it like. Oh God! How the hell did he spell it? Uh. I mean, I, I have to chunk out letters here anyway, so, like, this doesn't, this doesn't really work for a lot of reasons, unfortunately. Uh, or it is a male Sneasel. It's a Snamantha. Uh, Snamantha. That'd be good for a Snom, actually. Yeah. It's tricky. It's one of those, like, you want something to, like, hit you and just be like, oh, yeah, that obviously is it. Mm, 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 mm. It's not enough space for something like Chili the Kid. That'd be fun. Chili, Chili the Kid. Chili the Kid. Chili, chili. Hmm. You Chilean. I'm gonna look at it for a sec here. It's also Chilium. 
Chilium. Chilium. Chilium. Do I have a do I have a William joke in here already? I feel like that's such an such a low low hanging fruit for us. Probably. Uh, amazingly I don't. Maybe that was one of the rapid fire names in Arceus. Maybe, yeah. There were a lot of those. Chilium. Name Pokemon twenty at a time. Or how about here we go. We can we can do better than this. Chillhelm. Chillhelm. I feel good about Chillhelm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they, there's an alternate version of the scream as well. The guy. There are. I know. The, the the maybe the most famous one is in one of the recent Star Wars movies. I believe there's someone who uses an alternate Wilhelm scream because he is the guy who first used the Wilhelm scream uh, as an editor, and they let him have a quick cameo role and record his own scream. That's great. Just like, oh, that's fun. Chillhelm. Chillhelm is absolutely the right answer here. All right. And it goes to the box. <laughs> Bye, buddy. I wish that there was a that there was more incentive to switching out dudes on your team without it requiring grinding. Legit like an hour of grinding to catch them up. Yeah. And like some of that is the fault of our format. Yes. Because John and I wind up going over level just to keep up with each other. But also, just like Nuzlocke in general, you want to be a little over leveled to actually not walk into a huge fucking trap. Yeah, unless you're playing, you know, a version of it where you also are in, you know, enforcing level caps on yourself. Yeah, that's a different story for sure. Yeah, if you're making sure that you stay low, it's a lot easier to make substitutions. Uh, but I think that's where we're going to break it here. When we come back next time, we're going to head on down 216. See you then. Bye. Bye.